Isabel, you are so cute. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Wildberry, it's 8.21 a.m. on Monday, April 6th, 2020. I don't have any big news to share with you all today, but I would like to touch on one seasonal topic. Isabel, please give me more cherry blossom recipes. Earlier today, a clump of oh bamboo caught my eye and reminded me of a piece of horticultural trivia. <gasps> the fact that you know some horticultural trivia is so freaking adorable. Did you know that this time of year is perfect for harvesting fresh bamboo or young spring bamboo? Which also reminds me... <gasps> <gasps> Isabel, I love you! She's going to teach us a new bamboo recipe, you guys! You can use young spring bamboo to for the bamboo noodle slide recipe I sent out via the DIY recipes app. Okay guys, I think today on Wildberry Island, we may need to spend some time working in the bamboo forest, especially if our incline has now finished and we can get up in there and see what's going on with our bamboo. Uh, oh my gosh, she's so cute. It's an exclusive project you can only collect supplies for during this time of year. Oh my gosh, there's so many seasonal recipes for spring. I wonder if there's going to be more seasonal recipes for all of the other seasons too. All right, hello everyone and good morning and welcome back to Wildberry Island where we are currently getting ready for the excitement of Bunny Day. We are catching Sakura blossoms and it sounds like we need to head over into the bamboo forest so that we can start creating some of these special bamboo DIY recipes that are also seasonal and only available this time of year. As you can tell, the wildlife of Wildberry keeps us on our toes, and I am so excited to see what we get up to today! Holy cow, I can't tell you guys how good it feels to wake up every morning and know that we're going to be tending to this beautiful, beautiful island, and just watching it grow! I was thinking all yesterday, and actually all this morning as I was like doing my morning stretches and getting ready, about setting up the cute little farmer's market that I want to put somewhere around here. I think do I think I want to put like something cute like a plaza right over here of some kind maybe that can be the farmers market and then maybe down here oh, puddles you're standing in front of a cherry blossom this is not a drill got it yes all right we caught it fantastic but then I was thinking about how much fun it would be to come down here oh there's a bee and maybe have like a temporary yard sale. We could even, oh dang it. We could even have like a bee or a beach yard sale where I could put down some stalls and put items onto the beach that we could give to the villagers. Uh, or we could have yard sales all over the place. Oh my gosh, we don't have to limit it just to like one specific area, but I definitely want to build a farmer's market. If that should be right down here or if it should be behind the nookery and in front of the museum well that's a matter for another day for now let's go ahead and catch that praying mantis that i just saw in front of the able sister shop don't mind me just going to snack get him all right we got the orchid mantis and we're gonna begin the day and since isabel suggested the wonderful bamboo and it is limited time bamboo We'll go ahead and spend some time collecting those. I just want to check in on the new places. <gasps> One of the houses is sold! One of the houses is sold! We have somebody else moving into the island tomorrow, you guys! Who is it? Oh my gosh. Biddy? Biddy's moving in? I know that name. I know that name. I just can't remember the villager. But we have Biddy moving in, you guys! Okay, that is ridiculously exciting. I think we may have to grab the last two of the housing plots this morning and put them over by Pierce's house, and then we can go over to the bamboo area. Also, let's look for the DIY recipe for the morning since we're already here. <gasps> Scrap the bamboo plants. There's a lizard afoot. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Who are you? Who are you? Come this way, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who is this? Flick. Oh, uh, hi. Do you live here? I'm Flick. I am kind of a bug buff. An insect enthusiast. An anthropod artiste. I love all bugs and their appendages. Okay. 
<laughs> he is the complete opposite of Blathers, and I love him. <laughs> I've been traveling across the islands looking for my soul bug, the perfect inspiration for my art. I must capture every wiggle wiggling leg, every joint of the antenna. We're so lucky to live in their world. I love him. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my uh, chitinous kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with condition conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh. And if you're um interested in my art at all, just let me know. My commissions are open. <gasps> oh my gosh, commissions? Oh, are you interested? I consider it my mission to bring bugs' beauty, however imperfectly, to places they haven't yet blessed. A bug's form is whole and complete from the moment of its creation, while we poor observers are flawed. I love him. I seek to capture a shadow of that form, and while I do need live models to work from, I don't charge bells. If there's a bug you want me to sculpt, bring me three of them. Oh my gosh. I definitely want to commission something from him. May you one day find your own path to infestation. I love this guy! He's so cool! We have to bring him some bugs! We absolutely have to bring him some bugs! Also, curses, it's just a sky egg. Alright, get down from there. Alright, alright, you guys. Bamboo plans aside for the moment, we absolutely have to find another Orchid Mantis. That's the first bug that comes to mind that I really want to be able to get more of. I unfortunately think I sold the Orchid Mantis that we had inside of... Oh, ooh, ooh. or maybe one of the or maybe one of the Madagascan butterflies it is this oh that's a shovel Siri that is not a net all right let's grab this butterfly okay we're, we're going to have a bug hunt it is a special bug hunt day so that we can work with Flynn flick I love him I love him so much okay do we have any there's a ladybug and he, he's going to buy bugs. He's going to take the bugs and give them, like, an even better home. I, I'm so excited. Okay, peacock butterfly or maybe a praying mantis or... Oh, gosh. This is so thrilling. I can't believe we have the exciting opportunity to meet somebody as obsessed with bugs as we are. This is fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and check the mail really quickly. What's going on? Oh, Cafe KK. All right, we've got more KK songs. And then let's go inside and- There was an Orchid Mantis! I saw one in the background! Curses! Alright, well let's go in here, because by now the Orchid Mantis will have vanished. Unfortunately, it does look like I sold the Orchid Mantis that was blocking the doorway there. Uh, this is why we should be taking good care of having plenty of specimens in the Wildlife Wild- or the Wildberry Wildlife Research Center. Do I have any other bugs? Let's see, what do I have? Have. No, we have two seahorses, a football fish, and a koi. If you can commission three bugs, in the future I'm going to start keeping at least three bugs that I really like, and then he'll make sculptures. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, and we still have the writing desk and the cocoa tree from yesterday. And then let me go ahead and put away this ca cafe KK. I'll put that in storage. We have a tiger butterfly that we can go ahead and give him. Let me put away these stones and drop that DIY for a minute and put away these apples. All right, so today is going to be all about going bug hunting, which is going to be so much fun. We'll catch a ton of bugs. We will turn them over to our new friend Flick and hopefully he will have... Do I need anything else from inside? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me think about this. We have... Oh, we need to plant some cosmos for some special flower related projects but maybe that's what we could do we could build a flower market after like everything has calmed down i still need to build the special event area i i still need to collect more of the young spring bamboo there's quite a lot to do but we will manage friends we will manage uh, i'm gonna grab some iron and leave it in our pocket in case we need to make some more nets because we're about to be catching so many bugs all right plans have completely shifted this is fantastic. Let's see if we can find four orchid mantises that we'll be able to catch and put with him. All right, let's see. The orchid mantises love white flowers. Ooh! Don't mind if I do get, a, like, 30,000 bells to start the morning. Very nice, very nice. 
and let's get our net out so that we can be a good bug hunter. And I might actually... Oh, I wonder if... Because the... Sometimes the bugs count as... Um, hermit crabs count as bugs for some reason. I think. So... I think they do. I can't remember if they count. Come here, butterfly. You're gonna go have a really great life. Trust me. Let's check the Critterpedia. Because... Oh! Oh! <gasps> I totally called it on needing a new net. What the heck? Did I just... Okay, oh, it was for catching bugs. All right, we need new blossom basket, except this time it's going to be a bug... A bug bamboozler. Ooh, some money. Useful, but now I need some, like, branches, please. All right, let's see if I can get... Okay, more money. People are just leaving money around our little garden, which is really fun. Okay, there's one. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake. There's two, three. Shake a shake a shake a shake a four. One more. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and there's the big dragonfly. Okay. Let's craft ourselves up another net. I can't believe our net already broke. We literally just got here. All right, onward we go. I'm so excited. I can't believe that Flick is visiting. And we will craft ourselves up a flimsy net, and then a fancy net. And I really need to start leaving the customization stuff out so that we can go ahead and catch- or we can make a nice net color every time. I would make it green today because we are indeed searching for some nice bugs. There we go. Alright, let's get the bug hunt going. There is a very fast moving- oh, We got him! Yes! All right, we got a darter dragonfly, guys! Fantastic! And then let's- ooh, there's a butterfly! There's a really pretty butterfly! I see it! I see it! I see it! Hello, Flick! Oh my gosh, we're gonna bring you so many bugs! All right, what kind of butterfly was that? I saw it over here. There it is, the back. Okay. Between the trees, there's the bell spot for the day. <gasps> it's the Madagascan butterfly I was just talking about! Oh, yes! All right! Madagascar and Sunset Butterfly. Ooh, there's- oh no! Oh no! We're low on the Joy-Cons! But we have a lost item that we can give to one of the villagers! Oh my gosh, what an exciting morning. Alright, let's see. So we need to continue to search for more special bugs, which means probably searching where we have an abundance of flowers, because we want more orchid mantises. And the orchid mantises really love white flowers. And lucky for us, we have planted so many white hyacinths all over the place. Also, if Flick visits all day, oh, another bug. Come here, little one. Get in the net. Get in the net. You're just a common butterfly. It shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> there we go. All right. But if Flick is visiting all day, then I might actually be able... Come here, little blossom. Don't mind if I do. Curses. Got it. I might be able to go to some of the islands and try to catch some of the bugs there. Uh, oh, another common butterfly. You guys have no idea how happy you're going to be with Flick, promise. You're going to think, this is fantastic. He clearly loves them. For every ounce of hatred that Blathers has towards bugs, Flick clearly appreciates them. Oh, and speaking of bugs, I wonder what he would think of a wasp. Alright, we'll shimmy shake some of these trees, searching for the wasp. Nobody over here. There's a common butterfly down there. And actually, if we search the trees, we might find a spider. Or we might find a uh, bagworm. I don't really want to get a model of a bagworm, though, like a, a statue of a bagworm. I really think the orchid mantis would be perfect because it does remind me a lot of just the beauty <gasps> of springtime. Get in my net! Yes! Another orchid mantis, you guys! We just need one more and then we can do a commission with him. Oh, yay! Autograph cards? I wonder what these look like. Oh, I think you can only put them on walls, so we'll have to check what the autograph cards say. Alright, I've got plenty of fruit- oh, dang it. Plenty of fruit that I need to 
put down. I thought I heard a bell, a bell cricket, but I'm not sure if I'm in the mood to try to dig a bell cricket up right now. And then, oh, what's this? How am I supposed to catch that butterfly? <laughs> oh, by being patient and waiting for him to come to me. Come here, little one. Nope, down on the, the beach? Okay, that's fine. We might find our DIY of the morning on the beach if we're quick with it. All right, come here. Got it. All right, this is very exciting. So I think what we'll do is we'll catch a whole bunch of bugs, try to get the Orchid Mantis commissioned. Oh, here is the Bunny Day DIY. Let's go ahead and see what's in this bottle. And it's a mystery. Oh, the Festive Balloons, which we do have. We actually have all of the Bunny Day recipes now, which I am very proud about. We managed to like stack those up pretty quickly. So now we're getting a ton of bamboo recipes, <laughs> even though the fact of the matter is that we need to get our hands on the cherry blossom recipes. So that's going to be quite tricky. I might have to really start working hard with our patrons in order to sync up with them and get... Okay, we got a long locust. Yeah, I swear there's just more bugs where we have the most flowers and that is on this side of the island. <gasps> Look at our incline! That's so cool! Now if we just clear some of the bamboo out and we work with it, I guess we want the most bamboo during spring when we can get the young spring bamboo from it. Oh, there it is again! Oh. oh, come on! Okay. Yes! <laughs> we got so lucky that he flew into the cliff. We almost have enough dragonflies I could consider commissioning a darner dragonfly. But I don't know about that. Dang it, that cherry blossom's getting away. Alright, come here, pretty thing. How nice would it be if we could commission, like, a cherry blossom? But I guess that's what the special items are for. Curses. Alright, so let's continue to look for the Orchid Mantis. The perfect example of spring, in my opinion. I love mantises, too. They're extremely aggressive, of course, because they do like to eat one another. Um, that's just the normal course of things for many things in the insect world. But I, I really just find them so fascinating. All right, I hear a balloon. We'll keep our eyes out for it. Keeping our eyes out over here. Flick knows where the action's at. Oh, hey, Puddles, what's up? Siri, I heard all about what you're up to. Catching all the bugs? How you're going to make Wildberry so fa oh so famous that KK will come here on tour? If that actually happens, oh my gosh, it will be so so cool, so so wild, so gah, so it's amazing. You know what? I'm going to help you chase this crazy dream. Hmm, what can we do? I've got it. And what if we like make a powerful spot somewhere on the island? Huh? Just a big powerful center of good vibes. This is the fabest of fab ideas, don't you think so? I agree, Puddles. We need a flower market slash farmer's market. I've got to have something to help you out with a project like that. What about something like this? I'm curious to see what she's going to give us. The air circulator gives off strong vibes. I bet if you put it somewhere on the island, good energy will flow and KK will show up and life will be perfect. Oh, she's so cute. I love you, Puddles. Also, I think, Puddles, you chased away my balloon, but I'll catch it. <gasps> There's the peacock butterfly! It, too, is among the options of what I want to try to get. Okay, there's one balloon. Oh, it's a normal balloon! Sorry, peacock butterfly! This is mission critical! Normal balloon could be, a, like, a cherry blossom recipe. Up we go. What an exciting morning. <laughs> I can't wait for us to have enough inclines that this isn't quite so, like, Ah, grunt, quick, go, 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 go! Okay, and up. Okay, so we've got the normal balloon. I've heard the yellow ones tend to be like items, but let's see what happens. <sighs> All right, there's theory that the color of the balloon kind of affects what's inside. Red balloons are supposed to have DIYs, so we'll remember that for the future, but gosh, I'm really glad that we, we managed to get, th I mean, 30,000 bells is not something to sneeze at, don't get me wrong. That is Wildberry taking care of Wildberry Island. 
All right, come here, little one. You too are absolutely precious. There we go. Common blue bottle. And then let's see if we can find that peacock butterfly, which unfortunately I think has gone away. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I can I can cope with that. We will find it again. Peacock butterflies only show up around the hybrid plants, just so you guys know. So if you're looking for peacock butterflies, look for the hybrid plants. And if you're having a hard time finding some of the bugs that you really want, only a certain number of bugs will show up at a time on the island. So you definitely want to spend a little bit of time catching or scaring, accidentally, the ones that you don't want. And then the rarer ones might start showing up. Like we'll go ahead and catch this common yellow butterfly. And if we do that, we might actually encourage the rarer butterflies and the orchid mantises to start showing up. Also, while we're over here, let's go ahead and water our plants. Today is not the day we can spend working on hybrids, at least not in this morning episode of our wonderful adventures on Wildberry Island. But we'll have to see, maybe we can get up to something in the evening. Because I love, love, love sharing this with you guys. I feel like we're all showing up at the same island together and working on this really fun biological project together and just watching this place transform day after day together and it's really helping get me through this very interesting time in life and I hope that it's helping you guys too. All right, Orchid Mantis. Come on, Orchid Mantises. Oh. Or I would really take them out of Gascar and Moths and we'll remember this, you guys. We'll remember this is why we should keep a few specimens of the rarer creatures. Probably the fish, too. I bet Chip Jr., who we haven't met yet, but who is real, like involved with the fishing, I bet that Chip Jr. actually would do commissions, too. That's my theory. Don't know if that's true, because I haven't met him yet, but... All right. There we go! Okay, so we're full of bugs now, guys. Let's go ahead and see what Flick says about all the bugs that we're bringing him. And I can't believe that Biddy is moving in tomorrow. I, I will have to see what we think of Biddy. I really feel like Julian's just here for a bit. No pun intended, because now we have Biddy coming. But, Flick, how do you do, dude? Is it sheer hubris to think that we could ever learn everything about bugs? Bugs are an experience. They are a, a conversation, oh my gosh. I was not expecting, a, a, like, a Steven Universe reference that just sort of, like, got me right in the gut from one of my favorite, favorite, favorite scenes. That's amazing. One between the viewer and the universe. Oh, um, sorry, lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any kind. Any kind. Oh, and if you want to commission a piece of my art, just let me know. Okay, bye. I love how, like, modern all of the tones of everybody just is. Alright, do not sell the orchid mantises. Do not sell the Madagascan sunset moth for now. Because we might want to commission him for those. I don't really want to commission the Darner dragonfly at this particular point in time. And let's see what he gives us. A whole swarm. This is the best day ever. Okay, tone it down, Flick. Ahem. Can I offer you, say, 7,560 bells for the bunch of them? Really? Thank you! Nice! We'll have to see how many more we can get. Let me know if you catch any more. Alright! The mission is on! Okay, so we just earned some, some bells from selling items. Fantastic. Good, good, good. But it's not enough! I need this commission. I absolutely want this commission. Alright, here's this little guy. Oh, and there's a stink bug behind us now. Okay, so this is the morning of searching for the orchid mantis, basically. And I wonder if I have anything I could give the villagers. Well, we could talk to the villagers, even if I don't have any good gifts for them yet. Oh, and we need to give whoever is missing the journal their journal so it would be a good idea to speak with our villager friends in just a second here i wonder where pierce is i haven't seen him around this morning <gasps> and pierce taught us the coolest diy recipe yesterday you guys in fact we can go ahead and craft this diy because it is perfect for being able to show off 
uh, our, our experience of running around the island searching for bugs, but it is the log pack. Look at how cool this is. You could actually make a little log pack, a backpack that you carry around carrying all the wood on your back. And I thought that was perfect for our Jungle Jane outfit because it totally goes with the theme of just like traversing the island, trying to gather up whatever we can find. All right, let's see. This is a normal butterfly. Got me excited because I saw something on saw something on the white flowers for a second. A long locust just took off over here. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, get him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> I wasn't sure if we'd be able to catch him, but we did. All right, that's good. Man, we really benefit from having planted so many flowers. I need to get more down. And we'll continue to look for the other butterflies. And you know what? While we're running around, we'll take care of some of the other things about the island and collect things too. Because the Flick is going to be here all day. I will be collecting and selling bugs to him all over the place. I'll be going to the islands. We might be able to pay off the huge half million dollar bell or half million bell loan we have based on bugs. How freaking cool would that be? All right, there's a little bee. You know what? I wouldn't mind getting a model of a bee as well because bees are very important. And then we could put the bee model next to some of the flowers that we have. So that would be really good actually. Oh, there's some ants. Nice. And you know what? Maybe we'll have to see how many commissions we can do. Let's do the orchid commission first. And if that's like the only commission you can get, there's a balloon. Oh, it was right above me. <gasps> it's a normal balloon. Okay, please. We'll have to see. Is this going to be money? Is it going to be an item? Is it going to be DIY? Could it be any of the above? Let's find out. It's a document stack. <laughs> we actually just got some of these from my friend's island and Tommy and Timmy were selling them yesterday. So I suppose, oh dear, and we're getting really close guys. We might end up, oh wait, there was the peacock butterfly. Go, 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 go. Right down here, I saw him. There he is. Okay, I will take a peacock butterfly too. There we go. Getting a peacock butterfly. Okay, so now it, it's a race. Are we going to get the Madagascan sunset moth? Are we going to get the orchid mantis? Or are we going to get the peacock butterfly first? Who will end up becoming the very first model? The very first specimen to be featured in our wild by, like, wildlife research center? It is only a matter of time. Alright, go away, egg. Oops, sorry, Flick. When the universe contemplates beauty, it imagines the silhouette, the silhouette of the peacock butterfly. Oh, I'm sorry. Lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Yes, I have. I have. Sorry. I was just trying to knock down that, that balloon from the sky. And let's go ahead and give him these guys for now then. Just the common ones. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're totally going to be able... I mean, those are just a few cheap bugs. So if I go to one of the islands and collect a whole bunch of the stink bugs, the man-faced stink bugs that remind me of my uncle, I have a feeling we'll be able to pay off the huge loan because we already have almost 200,000. Oh, a normal mantis. Oh, I missed. Oh, I really hope I don't do that with the orchid mantis. I would be a little, a little sad. All right, we'll let that balloon go. And let's see, stink bug. There we go. All right, this whole morning is just. <gasps> yes! We did it, you guys! We have caught an orchid mantis. Our friendship is blooming. I am so excited. Let's come over and talk to Flick. Let's actually come on down. Gently push him into the flowers. No, come, come this way, Flick. Hold still. And then, let's see. Uh, let's grab a bug. I want to show off the bug. Okay. Let's see if I can show off the bug. If you will just hold still. And 
He wouldn't hold still. <laughs> Flick, I really want to just be able to. Okay, is this a normal butterfly? It is. All right, we'll stand next to him later and I will take a picture that will work well. Oh, there's some more ants. Gosh, man, when you start getting into the bugs, they're just suddenly everywhere and it's so exciting to just catch them one after another. Oh, <gasps> we already have destroyed our net. We literally just made that net. Oh, I wish there was a more durable net we could learn about. And I can't catch that mantis. Oh, you're not Flick. Sorry, Puddles. All right, let's go ahead and talk to him about commissioning the Orchid Mantis. Larva, pupa, adulthood, final transcendence. They become more exalted with every metamorphosis. Oh, um, sorry, lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any kind. Any kind. I just, I love that. I love that. Let's go ahead and try commissioning. Oh, I see. The item has... The time has come for we two travelers to begin our journey together. What kind of bug have you chosen to act as our guide? He's so cool. Noble Orchid Mantis, can you part with three of them? They will be happy and safe with me. Yay! Oh, wait, there you go, Flick. Score to commission. I mean, um... And so our contract is bound, human. <laughs> okay, he is like one of my top favorites forever now. Already I feel the all-consuming fires of the creative inferno warning my beholden blood. When I have completed my labors as midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the orchid mantis by mail. That's so cool! I wonder if we're able to do more commissions with him. Let me shoot this balloon down from the sky really quickly. And now ooh, we need a berry back. Oh no! I can't believe we've destroyed my slingshot now. What the heck? All right, let's talk to him again. If you find yourself where there are no bugs, you have to visualize and manifest them yourself. Close your eyes. Reach within your mind. Feel the bugs. Feel them crawling all over your skin. Dissolve. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. Just, you know, thinking. He's just so cool. <laughs> Tell me about your art. This is about your commission for the sculpture based on the exquis exquisite orchid mantis, right? I have the image in my mind. Now my mortal digits must bring it forth before the f this flame is extinguished. When the final piece has manifested itself beyond the limitations of my frame, I'll uh, mail it to your house. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we can only commission one piece at a time from him. I am so glad we picked the Orchid Mantis. Wow. This has definitely been an experience beyond my expectations. Ah, but alright, so let's go ahead and make a new berry basket. And then we'll actually see what the autograph thing is by going inside and putting it on our walls. And we will leave a couple of the specimens that I really want for the future in our house because we have plenty of room to be able to leave some healthy, happy, buggy specimens. And we are a wildlife research center, so that would be perfect for us. We'll leave the peacock butterfly and the Madagascan sunset moth. And we'll see if we can collect three of them. And we will leave the honeybee and we can even just store like one of them out, one or two out, and then we can leave the others in storage. Oh, and then let's turn in the mysterious package, the mysterious journal that somebody lost. And I really need to talk to Julian some more too. We, we haven't spoken with him enough and I forgot to send him a welcome present yesterday and I feel so bad about that. I mean, he's new to our island, so of course he should have a welcome present. All right, let's go ahead and put the bugs down real quick. Place bug. Hello, you beautiful thing. I can't wait to see what his commissions look like. That's going to be really fun. And then can the honeybee... Yay! And the honeybee can actually go in the wardrobe. That's really nifty. All right, and let's actually see... Good morning, Twig! I can't... Our, our hamster probably can't wait to have windows. What do the autograph cards look like? Those are actually really cool! Oh look, there's a little paw print! Like it's an autograph- is that an autograph from KK? Hang on here. I think that's KK's autograph! And I wonder if some of these are like autographs from Isabel. Because I, I would love to imagine that some of them are autographs from Isabel and like Brewster and some of the other big NPCs. That would be so much fun. All right, so do I have anything else in my pockets that we want to put away? Oh, the air circulator. <laughs> it's a fan. <laughs> she wanted to, oh, look at her plant move. 
That's so cool. All right, so puddles, that was absolutely adorable. Um, maybe the villagers are saying that they need a place to cool off, which I could totally understand. I kind of want to give them a cotton candy machine instead, though. And then we have another document stack, which we already have one. So maybe we'll give that to one of the villagers. But speaking of the villagers, let's wrap up this amazing morning by going back inside and getting the resources I just forgot about. <clears throat> Whoops. We were also going in there for some wood. All right, all right. So let's grab some of the wood that I completely forgot about. There we go. There we go. We'll grab the customization kits because why not? And then maybe later this afternoon, we'll go on some island tours together if I have some extra time to do a double daily bonus episode amongst our many pixel biology adventures which are finally getting up and going in large part thanks to you guys here. I have often found my way forward again. Let's craft up this log pack because it's way too cool. But I have often found my way forward again from rough points in my life, from being able to take part in really amazing stories and building up those stories. I don't like passive stories. I really like to be involved and active in the stories. <gasps> the Madagascan Sunset Moth, yes! Flimsy net, you're gonna be perfect for that. Okay, if we hurry, maybe we can actually get a good net. But basically, thank you guys. I draw a lot of strength from being able to tell stories and make progress and watch as the worlds that we work on transform under our attention. And that has been such a powerful experience with building up Wildberry that it really helped pull me out of a moment in time when I was honestly slipping into being very depressed again at the, right before my wedding i'm getting married this week i shouldn't feel that way so thank you guys because being here on wildberry and having so many of you support our adventures here really helped me remember one step at a time we can change the world and that helped out beyond words all right so let's go ahead and check i just want to see if we can customize you cannot customize the log pack good to know let's go inside and we're actually going to change our outfit really quickly i kind of do want to have a mirror set up somewhere on the island maybe like a changing room down on the beach where the villagers could go ahead and like change into their little cute outfits let's place the sunset moth in storage and then let's change our wand outfit really quickly and oh, I can't change that while we're wearing the wand outfit. And we're gonna have our cute little pack on. And I'm always going to remember that this adorable bamboo or the adorable wood pack was something that we managed. No, I didn't want to do that. Was something that we managed to create while we were searching for bugs so that we could share the wonders of wildlife with the whole world. All right, so Jungle Jane, let's go ahead and swap some clothes. We're going to go ahead and put on the recycled boots. Very cute, very cute. And the log pack. <gasps> I love it. Look at that cute little log pack. Oh my gosh. Is there anything else I would want to put on? Oh my gosh. Jungle Jane might be really cute with some glasses, but I also think they would possibly break and get in the way. So we won't wear them right now. Also, I picked up some sticky rice that you can wear on your face from my friend Drama King's Island the other day. I was laughing so hard when I found it. Um, and I think... Any other things? Nothing else for the head. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, do I want anything else on our head right now? I don't think so. We don't really have, a, like, the perfect hat for Jungle Jane's outfit yet. An adventure hat, the explorer hat would be amazing. But also I love flowers. Ah, oh, curses! I keep forgetting I can't do that. All right, out we go. All right, you guys. Wow. <laughs> Meeting Flick was one of the unexpected parts of working here on Wildberry. You never know what you're going to discover on the island. You never know what you're gonna run into. You never know what each day will bring. And tomorrow we have a new villager moving in. We have Biddy moving in. I don't even know how to feel about that yet other than ridiculously excited. All right, so let's wrap up today's morning adventures. Uh, am I wearing my little log pack? Oh no, I didn't select the log pack, phooey. Okay, we'll wear it later. 
Let's see if it's Puddles's little cute bag. Uh, let's see, drop something? Or a little cute, not bag, pardon me. Journal. I bet this is Skye's. This looks like something Skye would have. Um, why would you think this is mine? This isn't my style. I've worked hard so folks can say I know Puddle's style and this is not it. But you know what? It is a design that somebody like Skye would go for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now Skye just saw us like, I, I knew that was Skye's. I'm going through her journal. Good morning, and here's hoping it'll be a good day, Airmail. How'd you know I lost something? Well, a little froggy told me. Oh wow, you found my book! Thanks so much. Can I give you a gift to show my appreciation? Thank you, Sky. I thought you might like to have a metronome. Oh, that's so cool! I would like to have a metronome. I guess it'll go with my document stack. Uh, pardon me, Flick. Oh, and it's a little, it's a little white metronome. Actually, Chips has a black metronome. That'll add a nice little bit of sound to one of the rooms in our home, I'm sure. Also, here we go, guys. Oh, there's one more balloon. We'll go ahead and see if that one potentially has something special in it. And there's a praying mantis right here. Gotcha. Hands up. And this is just gonna be so fun. I will just be catching bugs all day long now. And we will try going to, ah, oh, it's just an egg balloon. We, we may try going to an island or we might just spend the day together kind of tidying up this island. Later today, if I am able to get a second daily double episode of our adventures up and going, guys. So thank you guys so much. Oh, the DIY! I knew we were forgetting just like one more thing. Let's go ahead and see what this DIY is. I hope they just like, I will buy DLC for this already. Um, anyway. Oh, Ava! I love her! She's a chicken! This new DIY recipe was inspired by a scene in a novel I'm reading right now and really enjoying. I don't want to waste a good idea, so I'm sharing this with you. Try it if you have the materials. Wishing you well, Ava. <gasps> a pansy table! We just learned how to make a pansy table! Are you kidding me? Ava, I love you! So that is now another new item centered on flowers! Okay, we're gonna have to get yellow pansies. Absolutely gonna have to get yellow pansies. And let's shoot this egg from the sky. Gotcha. All right, guys, we are having such a wonderful day. I love this. I do have some other work that I hope you guys will enjoy to do for our pixel biology adventures. So I hope to have a double daily episode, but we'll have to see if we have the energy. And lately our internet has been so slow, it takes more time than it ever has before to get things uploaded to you guys. So hopefully the adventures won't slow down, but if not, we will be back tomorrow morning for more unexpected turns and twists in a Wildberry village or Wildberry Island. And if you guys would like to join us on those adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, I hope you two are finding ways to stay safe and to really feel like you can make the most out of the world around you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.